<sighs> Jedi, thank the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Darn us! He's a Sith! I've come to stop him. What happened here? Tarnis tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought the Tarnis the prototype. He turned on us. He killed everyone. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll get you to a medical bay. No time. Tarnis has the planet prison. He'll use it. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. You'll find Tarnis. Planet prison needs time to build the power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Running a thermal scan. No, oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. I thought the Jedi Temple was destroyed in the war. Pieces rain down into the lower levels. The Temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. If a Sith can get down there, so can we. Let's hope we get down there in one piece. And he didn't. I'm ready. Let's do this. Thanks, stranger. Didn't think anyone else was fool enough to wander this pile of rubble. Stupid move, trusting some prig senator. Jedi Temple's abandoned, he says. No one to fight, only troubles getting there. What do we find? Battle droids, Imperial commandos, Sith. We're lucky all they did was take our hall and lock us in here to die. Do you know what the Imperials are trying to do? Besides attack mercs on a legit job? No idea. Senator Starsnow's after a journal that belonged to his dead kid. Some bigwig Jedi fell during the sacking. Journal's all that's left of him. I feel for the Senator and his credits, but those commandos have the journal now. They aren't gonna spare us twice. I'll take on the commandos. The Senator should have his son's journal. Whatever you say, Master Jedi. But the kid's dead. That journal's not gonna bring him back. Senator Starsnow's waiting near the Senate Tower. If you can get that journal back, he'll be expecting you. 
Thanks for the rescue. Come on, boys, this job's a bust. Sure did a number on this place. Can't believe they got away with it. I'm departing Coruscant now, Father. Planet Prison deploys in minutes. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnis? A loose end? For shame. Have you come to die, Jedi? Don't do this, Tarnas. You can still surrender. You'll forgive me if I don't offer you the same opportunity. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. Master, I swear it. You have no idea what you've unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I've sworn to protect the Republic. I took no pleasure in your son's death. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. We already control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic, and you will bow down before I let you die. Your grudge is with me alone. There's no need to hurt others. As they die, you will suffer. And I want you to suffer before the end comes. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. 
Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. Couldn't have done it without you, Kira. Much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? Power darkness is obsolete, the conduits are fully functional, and I have witnessed through our monitors. Also, you destroyed many enemy droid machines, so well done.
Droid, your bizarre praise makes it all worthwhile. Please remember, Green technology is exclusive to the Enclave. Do not attempt to duplicate, or you will be absorbed into the Great Pentacaron. The Black Bisector returns prosperous, and we form the Red Parallel Senator Aranda. The Enclave Republic bargain evolves achievement. So you succeeded? You really helped all the Gri, um, delegates complete their repairs to the infrastructure? Nothing's left on this planet to threaten these droids, Senator. The Enclave delivers its promised Gri ingenuity, Senator. Coruscant acquires purple equilateral, and the Enclave requests Republic reciprocity. Ambassador Droid Patake. The Republic has other damaged worlds that could benefit from your Gri ingenuity. I propose drafting a formal treaty between the Republic and the Gri Enclave. What do you say to that? You seek a blue parallel with the Enclave. I am astonished, gratified, challenged by the prospect. Let us initiate renewed white vertex at once. I'm glad to have aided the formation of this new alliance. By your actions, we see that Gree technology will be invaluable as we rebuild the rest of the Republic. You have my thanks for all your efforts. I'd almost given up on these droids before you came along. That would have been a costly mistake. Acknowledgement and profound tribute, Black Bisector. This collaboration achieves through you. Lieutenant, get me Republic High Command. Captain, I want six squads prepped for a high-speed shuttle assault. Somebody get these blasted gawkers out of my way. I believe I have something you need, General. If I had a credit for every time a woman promised me that, hold on. What are you carrying? Well, I'll be hung with the Chancellor's shorts. You've got the astrogation computer from the Jedi Temple ruins. I was mobilizing half the Republic Army to go after it. You honored my squad by getting that device here, and made me as happy as a bantha on the beach. Do you have any idea what that device is? What it can do? Sort of. It's an astrogation computer. That's the understatement of the decade. The computer contains secret hyperspace routes the Jedi shared with the Republic military decades ago. The Empire gets their hands on those hyperspace routes. They could ambush every ship in our fleet. Yes, but the Empire failed. The Force was with us, General. Been a while since I heard those words. I've missed them. Your efforts kept the Republic safe from the Empire. For that, you deserve more than a clap on the shoulder. Haven't got a medal, so I guess credits will have to do. I can't make you rich, but I can do something. Keep your reward. I did this for the Republic. Then let the Republic do something for you in return. Go on, take the credits. I insist. I'll take that astrogation computer and lock it up tight. You went above and beyond for us. I salute you. Son's journal, Senator. There were Imperials in the temple, and your mercs were overwhelmed. Imperials? In the Jedi Temple? No wonder the mercenaries never returned. The Empire couldn't be after family heirlooms. I must inform the Senate of this. Thank you, Master Jedi. It must have been difficult to enter those ruins, but you've eased a father's pain. saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. Here she is. Hero of Coruscant. 
Glad to have you back. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnas. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnas was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. Have either of you faced this man before? I don't know him. Darth Angle personally led the forces that sacked Coruscant in the last war. He was furious when the Emperor signed the treaty. Looks like he's back to finish what he started. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angle's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie. The Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarnas transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. If we catch him in his lair, we could end this crisis right now. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. Master Orgus senses greatness in you, and so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going too. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not, but I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an O-fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck. Sean of the Jedi Order, working in conjunction with the Republic's Emergency Response Corps. You are receiving this message. You have prior experience dealing with extreme threats. Your help is needed immediately on the Outer Rim. Strike teams are converging at Carrick Station. Further details are available there. That wasn't very informative. Is there more to the recording? <laughs> Master at last! I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Always happy to have another droid. My T7 unit has been invaluable. The T7s are a fine utility model. I am programmed to provide for your creature comforts. 
C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from Starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class light corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Sounds like you're good at everything. Does that include combat? As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Does this Republic Emergency Response Corps secure hollow frequency Polaris? A crisis on the Outer Rim requires immediate intervention. The adverse hegemony have obtained a Republic battle station and are using it for acts of aggressive expansion, conquering entire star systems. I've never heard of this group. What are they after? They're a xenophobic political faction seeking to expand. Until now, they've been a containable threat. During the last war, Republic scientists developed a mobile battle station codenamed Hammer. It bombarded planetary surfaces using asteroids as weapons. Hammer Station was indiscriminately destructive. The project was cancelled and its prototype order destroyed. We don't know how the Advoze Hegemony now possesses it. Maybe our friends figured out how to construct their own Hammer Station? They lack the resources to build anything of that magnitude. A direct fleet assault would be suicide. Shields are useless against asteroid strikes. The station can target and destroy large vessels easily. But an assault shuttle could evade the asteroids and deliver a commando team to destroy Hammer Station from the inside. We just need volunteers. This is what I trained for. I'll bring down that station, whatever it takes. Be careful. The Jedi Order cannot afford to lose you. Destroying the station is your main objective, but we need to know how the hegemony obtained it. Any data you recover could prove useful. Hammer Station has just entered orbit above Salukami and demanded its surrender. Your assault shuttle is standing by. May the Force be with you. Intruders detected. Hammer station security online. Lockdown in progress. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Lord Vrishan to our personnel. Our jealous rivals would destroy our great weapon. But today, the Admiral's hegemony earns its place in the galaxy. <laughs> Systems locked. Warning systems locked. <laughs>
Admiral Akrasan to all personnel. Rally to Section Zero. We fight for our homeworld and the Supreme War Master. of the Republic. Come to steal back your battle station? You won't have it. I am a battle lord of the Ambos hegemony. You will fall before me. Primary weapon inoperable. Recommend immediate evacuation. Hammer Station is destroyed, Master Satil. The people of Selukami and the other conquered worlds send their gratitude. The enemy has retreated to their home system. Those conquered worlds will need help rebuilding. Relief ships are already en route with food and medicine. Thanks to you, we know how Hammer Station survived destruction. Years ago, its autopilot was set to fly the station into a nearby star. According to the data you recovered, a mechanical failure cut the station's engine just short of its final destination. Adversic salvagers discovered it several months ago. Didn't anyone from the Republic bother to make sure that the station was destroyed? The failure occurred beyond our sensor readings. It took years for Hammer Station to drift where the Advosec salvagers could detect it. Regardless, your valiant efforts will be remembered. Take care, and may the Force be with you. <laughs> 